Hello and welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty Season 7 still underway. We're going to be taking on Kentucky and Troy State here today. Kentucky 1-6 and six on the season and Troy State is, uh, you know, they're still, they're Troy State. So they're 1-6 and six as well. A couple teams really struggling on the season. But here is their rankings here. Kentucky... Top 50 in passing, I guess. So they got that going for them. But they're ranked 106th nationally. They did just win uh, last week to end their six-game losing streak. So, you know, still bowl eligible. They're fighting for a lot here in this game. And Troy State, uh, they're, they're just really, really bad. So, <laughs> But I wanted to play them again because we had a really nice rivalry with them early on in this series. So, just wanted to... Kind of rekindle that rivalry. But I'm not going to waste anybody's time here today. We're just going to get into the action. Let's get it. Hey, what's up, Jason? Christmas Eve football games tomorrow? Yes, sir. Should be some good games, I think. I hope. Possibly. I will not be home tomorrow, so there will be there will be no stream tomorrow. But Christmas Day, I'll probably stream, hundred percent. All right, did I just pick the right playbook? Yes, I did. All right, let's get it. I'm ready. What is your team, Jason? What team do you root for? There's Panthers and Charlotte. Go Panthers, baby. Oh, we got to turn this PA announcer off. My goodness. Yeah, I am a uh, Panthers fan, unfortunately, this season. It's, uh, it's pretty rough, but <laughs> just got to get a little bit more talent around Bryce, and we should be okay. You Green Bay fan? Nice. How are you liking uh, Jordan Love so far? Think he's doing all right for himself? All right, Kentucky. They like to throw the football quite a bit. At the start of this dynasty, they had... Uh, Jared Lorenzen, the hefty lefty. He did sure like to slang it. Oh, we should have had that. My goodness. He used to like the Panthers. It's been about 30 years. You know, their entire existence, I've been a fan of theirs. Definitely... A lot of ups and downs. <laughs> a lot more downs than ups, but had some pretty good seasons, though. Oh, my goodness. That should have been a pick six. Woo. Panthers let you down. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that. Calhoun, come on, man. It's a dang freshman. It's all right, he'll figure it out. I think he's a little bit better in man coverage. Kentucky averaging just over 300 yards of offense per game. That is atrocious. And that pass is overthrown. Love to do so hot from the last game. Well, you can't be great every game, you know. That's another quarterback. You got to give him a couple seasons to to learn some more 
experience. And here comes our, our pass defense, not able to cover anybody again for some reason. Third down and three. They're going to come out in the goal line set, see if they can run the football at all. They're going to go play action. And somehow they complete that to win for the first down. Poor defensive tackle just got trucked. Don't forget to slap the like button, folks. Slap it. If you win tomorrow and against the Bears, you're in the playoffs. Nice. That shouldn't be too difficult. Panthers are bad and so are the Bears, so should be two easy wins for, for Green Bay. Come on, defense. Let's get the stop. They're down one. They're going to go option, and they're going to get this easy. My goodness. Kentucky, so they're going to fight hard the rest of the season try to get a bowl game. They got to win out, though. That's, that's a tough road. And we just can't stop the option out of nowhere. That's cool. All right. Woodard, you gotta pick that, brother. Panthers are one and twelve. No, they they just won again, so they got two wins. They beat Atlanta. That's not saying much, but they did win. <laughs> beat the Texans and Atlanta this season so far. And that is a drop pass by the tight end. We have third and goal coming up from the nine. And deflected away by Singleton, who leads the team in pass deflections by uh, a pretty wide margin. And we finally stopped Kentucky on this opening drive. This kicker is not good. 52%. Oh my goodness. He goes up, and of course this one's right down the middle. Kentucky will take the lead after 14 play, 71 yard drive, took 226 off the clock. See how our offense responds. See if we can't run a little bit of clock here and give our defense a breather after that long drive from the Wildcats. Let's go, Dale. Oh, I couldn't spin around him. All right, here we go. I expect us to have some success on the ground in this one. Kentucky's defense, not very good. Not good at all. You're four years old in 2003? Dang. Come on, Ballard. Good run. Good run. 2003, I was 12. I'm an old man. Bulldog, seventh in the country on third down percentage. 52 completion percentage. Very nice. Very nice. Aw, oh, what? Was that on my center? No way. 
65. That was on my right tackle, apparently. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright. Well. Let's see if we can't get a nice quick pass over the middle to Joiner. Joiner's got it. First down, Mississippi State. Four hundred and twelve yards for Joiner on the season on sixteen catches, just one touchdown, though. Here we go, Dalton. First down, moving the chains again. blocking. Dalton. Oh, why did he spin? That's just my fingers. Forgive me. I can't feel the buttons, folks. Let's not forget that. <laughs> Either way, first down inside the red zone now. I'm going to try to hit Anderson on the corner. Top Anderson, touchdown, Mississippi State. Too easy on that pass. All right, we got the lead. And to think that we were losing to Kentucky. That's crazy. Jay Bonner, what's going on, man? Good to see you. defense let's figure this out I did not like that they had a 14 play drive last time out nice catch by Wynn his second of the game Stopped him there. Short of the sticks, we did. Third and inches coming up. Let's go defense. Pinch the line. He's wide open. That's my bad. Actually, I don't think I was supposed to cover him. I think it was Woodard. Pretty sure I had I had the halfback on that play. Woodard just got lost in the sauce. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, Salazar. Taking out your frustration on the running back. Second down and 11 now. Bump up that crowd volume. Where are you going? Done. Nowhere. All right. They're down 13 coming up. Seventh best defense in the country, allowing just 280 yards per game. That's pretty dang good. No way he caught that. Oh my goodness gracious. 
Kentucky already over 100 yards passing. We just have no answer for it. I was in the perfect spot to make a play there. Just couldn't get a hand on the ball. Done with 12 interceptions on the season, though. That is god-awful. Nice tackle by Pruitt. And Joe Grimes has injured his head on the play. Hopefully he can come back in this ball game. That's going to slide Tony Calhoun to the number one corner spot and get Robbins out there back to his original number two spot. Second down a seven. And they're going backwards. No way he gets positive yards out of that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we'll just decline it. Third and seven coming up. Third and eight, rather. Well, that's going to end the first quarter. Grimes out for two quarters. So he will be back today. 7-3 Mississippi State on top of the Kentucky Wildcats here in SEC action. No way he catches that in double coverage. Wow. Tyler Rocky, what up, Tyler? What's going on, buddy? Another great drive from the Wildcats. We just can't stop them. USC throttles Washington 49 to whatever that was. I didn't even see it. Maryland beats Navy 40 to nothing. Wow. Fullback, and he did not get the end zone. Pretty dang close, though. Third and goal from the one coming up. Any plans on Christmas? No plans for Christmas, but I'm going over to my mom's house tomorrow. And they're going to get in the end zone. Kentucky's going to take the lead right back. Might have a shootout here today. Dang near stopped him. So close. Extra point up and good. Kentucky on top 10 to 7 now. That was a 12 play, 80 yard touchdown drive. Took almost four minutes off the clock. And they've had two drives, 26 plays already. Oh, nice juke by Dale. Gets up past the 25. I didn't even see that injury. Who was that? So I'll wait for the replay on my, my computer. And apparently it was Desmond Dale, a wide receiver. Oh, my goodness. A couple injuries so far for us already in this game. Migraine headache. Uh, basically, just, you know, a concussion. Oh, my goodness. The fullback, Harding, comes down with it somehow to 47. Yard pickup. Malone wide open. It's maybe six yards. No, only four. Okay, they didn't count as forward progress, I guess. chains. Pretty good career from Jamar Dalton. Over 2,500 yards, 21 touchdowns, just under 400 carries.
Throw it up top. Who we got? We got Malone inside the 15-yard line. Back on five for the face mask. And we are in business. holding on that play, and it is on Vaughn. Man. Alright, first and goal from the 17. terrible when your quarterback gets hit like that you know you just have no control over where that ball's going I just realized how gigantic that running back is and Donaldson gonna move the chains for Kentucky we cannot stop these guys Donaldson was 44 yards already in the first half. My goodness. And Rob Burns injures his hip on the play. My goodness gracious. There's been already, what, three injuries. And that's just not okay. Burns having a good season, over 500 yards with a touchdown. Can anybody deflect the pass, please? I'm begging you. No, I don't want to see every completion. We'll be here all day. Because Kentucky can do no wrong at the moment. Dunn is out here looking like Peyton Manning. No way he completes that. <laughs> oh my goodness. These boys came to play. We can't cover. We can't tackle. Bringing people down by the face mask getting run over. Good tackle by Calhoun, freshman corner. Rob Burns, unfortunately for Kentucky, is out for the season uh, with a hip fracture. You just hate to see that. You also hate to see this defense. What is going on today? I know our secondary. The secondary is definitely the weakest part of this defense. we got three new faces out there. been exposed a few times this season. Let's go boys. Get him. Let's go. Huge tackle by Calhoun. His fifth tackle of the game already. Alright, let's see. Let's go cover two. They are just carving us up. Hey. 
What's going on, brother? What up, Rocky? Just popping in on your lunch break. Nice. I appreciate you stopping by, man. Man, what a drive that was. Kentucky is just killing us right now. Also, if you don't, you know, stop by the Christmas stream. You know, Merry Christmas, man. Happy Holidays. All that fun stuff. To everybody in the chat. Enjoy your time with your families. Purdue beats Michigan. Purdue's 8 and 0. What? What's going on there? Alright, we gotta get our head in the game right now. 125 left in the first half. We're down 10 points to Kentucky. The 1 and 6 Wildcats. And Dalton up to the 30. He's got 64 yards. Try to hit him with play action. I might get sacked here. Yep, I knew it. Of course, you know, they do an, <laughs> an all-out blitz. As soon as I pick play action. 150th ranked defense, and they're, they're playing pretty decent. Let's go, Thomas Roy with the catch, moving the chains. I didn't even throw the ball to him. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. I threw it to Malone. Oh, nice deflection by the corner. That was a really good play. Watson, 6 of 8, 93 yards, touchdown, and a pick. Oh, no way he picks that. Dang. Alright, we're making adjustments at halftime. We're going short passes. And we're going to run the ball a lot. I think we went two straight games without throwing a pick. And now we've already thrown two in this first half. And we should have had that one. Come on, Salazar. Oh, uh, Singleton. Forgot to pick nickel formation. Covering so many guys over here. Calhoun with another tackle. Not sure if they're going to count that one. Well, Troy State loses again this week. They're 1-7 going into our matchup next week. defense. Let's go, Woodard. Oh, nice tackle. His third pick on the season to go along with 34 tackles. See if we can't make something happen here with 15 seconds left in the half. Come on, Roy. And he got it. Oh, my goodness. Down to the eight-yard line. That was huge. Two catches for Roy, 62 yards in the game. I'm going to try to hit Malone in this corner. Or Joyner up the seam here. All right. Dang. All right. Just going to have to throw to the end zone. Hail Mary. We don't have the leg for that field goal. Come on, Roy. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, no. Oh, that was a perfect play. It hit both hands. What a great hit by the safety. And Kentucky hangs on to the 17-7 lead going into halftime. Definitely have to make some adjustments here. Because they're killing us. That's Medea back from injury. He's going to return this from the nine-yard line. Oh, it gets to the outside. Desmond Dale, the true freshman up the right sideline. Can he win the foot race? Inside the 20, the 10, 5, touchdown. 
Kick return touchdown of 91 yards for the true freshman, Desmond Dane. Dale, sorry. My goodness. What a huge play. I can't remember the last time we had a, a kick return touchdown in this series, but that's one hell of a way to uh, make some adjustments at halftime. Head coach probably looked at him in the locker room and said, make a play, young man, and he did just that. Great blocking as well. We don't usually get blocking on kick returns, especially on punt returns. Punt returns are so bad. Every once in a while we can return one, but... It's like seeing an eclipse. Devin Hester Jr. right there. I mean, heck yeah, man. He is pretty quick. I can't remember what his speed is. Let's take a look. What is Desmond Dale's speed? He's got 89 speed, so he's not the fastest. But you know what? He, he made the play when he needed to. I'll take it. It's funny, because the other guy... On kick return is Tony Calhoun with 99 speed. And he's only had one kick return all season, I think. They just don't kick it to him very often. Yeah, look at that. 49-14, USC crushes Washington. Might be the Trojans' year. All right, defense. Make a play. Let's make a play. Thank you. All right, let's make a couple more plays now. Oh, my goodness. Woodard, you got to help out, buddy. It's zone coverage. You gotta cover your zone. It's not that hard. I played safety. I know what you're supposed to do. I think secondary is just killing me this season. They got 205 yards passing already. Just don't really have any kind of answer. I pick man coverage, pick zone coverage, pick zone blitzes. There you go, Singleton. Another deflection for the linebacker. At the end of the stream, I'm going to look at the season stats for the team and see what we've all been doing. I know Singleton's got double-digit pass deflections. Leads the team by a pretty wide margin. Get him, boys. And he got first down. Okay. All right. Let's go gut blitz. We just need one play on defense. Somebody's got to step up and make a nice play. No way. Oh, my goodness gracious. This guy's killing me. Look at that throw. So now Corbin May just, I don't want to see it again. Corbin May just misses it. All right, let's go 3-4. Nice tackle by, I think that was Garcia. They're down in one coming up. Again, we're missing tackles left and right. And they're even being pretty successful on the ground game as well. Maybe get some pressure on the quarterback. No? All right, cool. Five two. 
Let's go. Oh, he's gone. 99 speed, baby. True freshman. So far in the second half, we got a kick return touchdown by a true freshman. And now a pick six by Tony Calhoun. Another true freshman. 94 yards to the house. Seeing the future of the program come out this second half. Just firing on all cylinders now. Making big time play after big time play. Who needs offense when you can score on defense and special teams? Just like that, we take the lead. The bad news is our tired defense <laughs> has to go back out there again. Team showing a lot of resiliency though here. Making some big plays. Alright, that was 5-2 that we ran. So let's do that again. And that was made possible because Grimes came back in the game putting Calhoun back to his original number two corner spot for him to be in position for that play. And we nearly have one with Grimes. He's still waiting on a pick. Should have had one in the first game of the last stream. The game robbed him of it. Ball went directly through his hands. That's a big running back. Overthrown. Donaldson, the intended target. Third down, ten coming up. Big, big, big play. Maybe the five defensive linemen helping out. I don't know. I don't know if that's creating some more pressure on this QB or what. And that pass, it looked to be a good throw. Might have hit the wide receiver in the shoulder, and we're finally going to stop this offense by way of a punt. Oh, no. Dang it. All right, we're going to start this drive from the 45-yard line, and we're going to run the ball. Calhoun, first down, just like that. Too easy. 74 yards today. Uh-oh. Well, that wasn't good. Harding didn't block anybody. barely seen this offense on the field all game. Come on, nice juke. And spinning forward. Dalton's going to pick up about six yards. He's nearing 1,000 for the season. 954 with nine touchdowns. And a nice tackle. We're going to go for it, though. Fourth down and two. Wide open is Anderson. That's going to be a first down easily, easily for the tight end. Too easy. And now Dalton is out of the game. A little bit tired, so we're going to have to run the ball with Robbie Ballard, who is more than capable. He 
We've shown it the past couple seasons. And it shows it there right now uh, with an eight yard pickup. Nice little juke. Finally brought down by the linebacker. About a yard and a half to move the chains. Gonna give this one to Harding. And easily gets that. I like this fullback overplay. Because Harding's a good enough athlete. If, they can, if he can get in the open field, he can make some guys miss. Like that. Nice pickup of seven for him. Oh my goodness, that was definitely pass interference. What in the world? Did they tackle my tight end? Like, what's going on there? First in the country in red zone scoring, 95% on the season. And Ballard, oh my goodness. Well, we're at the 15, we'll kick the field goal. Try to at least. I think we got this one. Just gonna hold it until the very last second. That way, this will be the final play of the third quarter. They hit my kicker. I'm gonna accept that. What do you mean? First and goal? Yes, sir. That's it for the third quarter. Get your fours up in the check. Can we hang on against Kentucky? We're up 21-17 here in Starkville, Mississippi. But we just got an easy first down with them hitting our kicker. And Dalton up inside the five-yard line to about the four, maybe the three. down to the one yard line. Well, one and a half. To take a two score lead on third and goal. And Dalton is gonna be stopped short. Oh my. No way. Got to go for it, right? Fourth and goal from the one. We got it. Easy. Robbie Ballard, touchdown Bulldogs. That's a huge play. Man, Kentucky almost had him stopped. Definitely not comfortable right now with how Kentucky's offense has been going. Extra point is up from Rick Hayes, and it's good. 50 play, 56 yard drive, four and a half minutes off the clock. defense let's seal it I'm gonna keep going 5-2 that's really been the answer in the second half nothing else is working and Cal 
Calhoun makes a nice tackle. He's got to have seven or eight tackles today. Sending Calhoun. We're doing it. Get in there, young fella. Oh, Woodard, come on, baby. This quarterback has such a, a quick release. Snaps the ball and just throws it instantly. Looking like a young Dan Marino out here. Oh, it's picked off. Grimes got one. Oh, he might take it all the way. Grimes to the house. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Let's go. Two pick sixes for the defense. And that might do it. Grimes finally gets his. Oldest player in the secondary making a huge play. Lead now up to 17. And up to 18. Kentucky being shut out in the second half. Bulldogs put up four straight touchdowns. That's going way right. My goodness. Nice tackle. Let's go, Kennedy. I think that's like our fifth string corner, maybe. We're still going to go 5-2. It's been working really well. Stick around after this one, guys. We're taking on Troy State in our renewed rivalry. <laughs> Not going to be much of a rivalry, probably. But we did have a couple really good games early on in the series, so had to bring them back for the one time. Figure we'll probably play them like once every five seasons. And Contreras has injured his hand on the play. That's no bueno. They're down at eight. Let's go defense. Oh my goodness. What a catch by Wynn. I don't know how he held on to that. That was a big time hit over the middle. Contreras out for the game with a bruised hand. Pruitt missing a tackle. That's unfortunate. Bouncing up past midfield. He's got 71 yards on five catches. Three minutes to go in the ball game. Nice catch by Lions, just laying out for it. They have 100 yards passing up the gut. And we finally get to the quarterback. My goodness gracious, that was Marks. I think that's his first career sack. They're down three coming up. And Woodard can't get over there fast enough. Richardson over 300 yards receiving now for the Wildcats on the season. And 
what a catch by Donaldson. Good grief. This has been a fantastic drive by Dunn and the offense. Oh, what a play by Grimes. Imagine if he picked that. That would have been beautiful. Get him! I don't know who it was, but that was a great play. That was Singleton. And that is out of the back of the end zone. Incomplete. They're going for it from the four yard line. They're going to go option. And he gets it. Oh my goodness. I'm sick. I'm sick to my stomach. in the country at 100% on two-point conversions. And not anymore. What a drive, though. My goodness. And Kentucky's got some potential. They really do. If they didn't just fall apart to start the second half, they might have won this game. And Malone is going to recover the onside kick for Mississippi State. Get the clock rolling now. Dalton just needs 11 yards for 100 on the day. I'm going to try a toss play. It's not going to work, but we're trying it. Why not? Yeah, look at that. They automatically switch to have all their guys on that side of the field. That's why we cut it back to the middle and pick up seven. Why didn't he hold on to that block for a split second longer? I think that gets Dalton over 100 for the game. Because he only, he only needed four before that. He definitely got it. Kentucky, one timeout left. And Dalton inside the 20-yard line. Trying to put this game on ice. One minute remaining. Get wrecked. Dalton down inside the five yard line, just diving. And that gets him over a thousand yards on the season, the first of his career, I believe. And nine touchdowns. I think that tenth touchdown is going to have to wait for another game. Robbie Ballard is going to punch this one in for his second of the day. Just too strong. Wildcat defenders just falling over like bowling pins.
Extra point up and good. 42 to 23 is the score from Starkville, Mississippi. Come on, Blankenship. Let's go, Blankenship. Oh, nice recovery by Lions. Dang it. Still a forced fumble, though. We'll take it. Kentucky over 400 yards of offense. Woodard, what are you doing? He literally stopped. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he stopped moving. We need a replay. Watch Woodard. Look at him. The man is standing still. It's rigged. The game is rigged. Oh, that's offsides. Catch. He's having a really good game. Calhoun gets player of the game. He had seven tackles in the pick six. Not sure why they threw the short route. Sure just threw it to square. They're going to do it again. It's worked better than the last time. They have 100 yards passing in every direction. And this time they actually spike it. We're going to see a Hail Mary now. Or are they really going to spike it and then punt it? What? That might be <laughs> the strangest thing I've ever said or ever seen. Like, I don't know what's going on. No, you're, you're a pick six, Brandon. No, you. I can't believe they're punting it right now. Like, what? I mean, stats, you know, had the stats for, for the punter with another inside the 20 punt. But the Bulldogs are going to get the win. They got me so confused and tongue-tied right now because of what just took place on that drive. I don't even know what's happening. I'm lost. But, hey, we got the win. So we'll take it. Kentucky uh, just fell apart to start that second half, and we never looked back. But we did not have a lot of yards of offense. They, however, had 443. Probably the best performance they've had all season. They did have three turnovers, though. They're trying to get the Ray Guy trophy. Yeah, for the punter, absolutely. That's all they're worried about. Yeah, they were up 17-7 to at halftime. And then we start the third quarter with a 91-yard kick return touchdown by Desmond Dale, a true freshman, followed by a 94-yard pick six by true freshman Tony Calhoun. Then we had a one-yard run. We had another pick six. Then they finally scored, and then we scored again. I mean, we killed them. We put up 35 points in the second half. Watson, one touchdown, two picks. Dalton. 133 yards, no touchdowns. Ballard gets both because Dalton was just gassed by the time we got near the end zone. John Anderson, sophomore tight end with a touchdown reception. Jared Woodard had 14 tackles. That might be a Bulldog record on the channel. Calhoun had seven and got player of the game. Seven tackles for loss for the defense. One sack for Terry Marks. Three interceptions, two pick sixes. And a partridge in a pear tree. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They did not give Blankenship the force fumble. I'm furious. Kick return touchdown, 91 yard to Desmond Dale. No punt returns, because it's almost impossible. All right, let's go take on the Troy State Trojans. I believe they're coming to our house, I hope. Uh, I'll be ashamed of, you know, with myself if I scheduled an away game at Troy State when they're not good. 
They're one and seven. All right, we're definitely going to save it here. Look at Utah State, seven and one on the season. They're 23rd in the country. They just beat UL Monroe, 48 to 13. Having a really good season. I really am enjoying all the smaller schools uh, that have gotten, you know, into the ranks. You know, we've seen UTEP become the number one school. Fresno State played for a national championship, even though they probably shouldn't have. But, you know, it's really cool to see these smaller schools succeeding. You know, Syracuse, even though they're, they're in a big conference, they haven't been relevant since the 50s. So it was nice to see them number one for a little while. Uh, we've seen a lot of teams get to that number one ranking in these last two seasons and then lose immediately. I don't know if that position is just cursed or what. It's happened to Tennessee two seasons in a row. I think there was like 10 different number one schools last season. But we are number three in the country now. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, see, UTEP was just number two. Let's see if we move up at all. Probably not. Nope. All right, let's take a look at the top 25. USC, UTEP, Mississippi State. We're actually getting 16 first place votes. UTEP is getting none. UNLV is up here. They're getting a first place vote as well as Georgia. A lot of really good schools right here. Purdue doing really well, 8-0. Texas is ranked ninth with two losses somehow. TCU's up there. Yeah, Tennessee got the number one this season, lost again. Colorado, I believe, was number one, and they lost. Syracuse lost when they got the number one. Look at Rice up there. Ole Miss, 8-0. I'm really looking forward to our rivalry game at the end of the season. Southern Miss, Marshall, Small schools having a great time. Utah State. Miami beats West Virginia 60-7. to Get them out of here. Arkansas State getting the rankings. What? Oh, my word. Lots of craziness happening. All right, we no longer have 69 wins for the culture. We're up to 70 for our career. We're on a 10-game winning streak. Last loss was to Arkansas towards the end of last season. I believe our 11th game of the year. All right, let's go take on the Trojans. They are pitiful. <laughs> They're just not good. Oh, this is actually televised. The Kentucky game wasn't. But us versus... One and seven, Troy State, televised. All right, let's get it. Did I not load? I didn't even load my profile for the last game. Profile and stats and everything are just so messed up. NC State, what the heck? Texas Tech, there we go. All right, let's get it. Troy State, Mississippi State. One and seven versus seven and oh. We're a third ranked team in the nation. Looking to get back into the national championship game for the first time since season three when we had Ken Topps under center. The Heisman Trophy winner. Corso and 
Kirk Curve Street to bring you today's game. And it's got to be exciting for college fans everywhere as we prepare for the national championship with this incredible season drawing closer to an end. The Trojans appear to be completely overmatched in this one. What do you think, Kirk? Well, I think you're right. I think this one's going to be a blow. Mississippi State is going to dominate this football game, and they're going to do it with the running back. I mean, this guy is unstoppable. I expect a huge game for him in this game, Lee. I'm talking about 200 yards and three touchdowns at least. Yep, no question, Kirk. Mississippi State has a huge advantage here, especially in the passing game. Kirk, look for them to spread their defense out and attack them through the air. No contest. Thanks, guys. Should be an... All right, so Lee wants us to throw the ball for a million yards on him, and Kirk thinks that Dalton's going to have, you know, 200 yards and three touchdowns. So, <laughs> I think we're just going to keep going with our our balanced attack and, and see what happens. We're not going to get too crazy with it. See if our defense uh, made any improvements from the last game. They're going to come out with no wide receivers to start the game. Wilkerson picking up one. They're going to run the power eye all game? That's interesting. It's been a while since I played them. I couldn't. I couldn't remember their playbook, honestly. Option. And now they're going to come out. Three receiver set, one tight end. They're averaging less than 300 yards per game on offense. 109th in the country. That means they're going to get this third and long right here. Direct snap. Yep. Awesome. Just lovely. Get us with a gimmicky play. Didn't help that I whiffed on my tackle attempts. And now we're going off sides. Hey, what up, Gary? My day's going good, man. How about you? And that is going to be overthrown. Kind of for Boyd, the tight end. And second down five, coming up. Oh my goodness. Cohen with a huge hit. Seven percent on third downs. It's ninety-fifth in the land. Man, that was not even close to the intended target. Trojans gonna punt it away. Can I get some blocking, please? No. Okay. Guys, wait until the last second. Wait until I call the fair catch to actually hit somebody. Okay, no blocking. Cool, cool. Hate to see that.
Second down and 11 now. Malone's got him beat. And he drops it. Dang it. They're down and 11 now. We're still 52% on the season. To the tight end. And Anderson's going to come down with it at the 46 yard line. First down, Bulldogs. And my receiver did not block the corner. Might be a decent run. Second down and eight. Four minutes left in the first. And I should have juked outside, and I didn't. Peyton Patterson in the chat. What up, Peyton? You love the vids? Appreciate it, man. Appreciate the support. Love to see you in the chat. Happy holidays to you, my friend. We're down to four. Let's go, Dalton. Here we go to the outside. And Dalton is probably going to get caught here. Oh, my goodness. At the 10-yard line. Great tackle. 42 yards on the ground just on two carries. Dalton showing that speed. Try a draw play. Probably not going to work. And everybody uh, just went right by the receivers. They weren't even able to block at all. So third and six coming up. Try by Watson. Just not fast enough. We're going to go for it. Why not? We got the big fella in there. Mr. Ballard. He just got to get in the end zone. Nope. Maybe. Oh, let's go. Robbie Ballard. Touchdown. Bulldogs strike first. It was a risky call there. It looked like we were going to be stopped. The safety came in unblocked. Able to wiggle our way through there for six. Total team effort. Everybody was carrying the rock on that drive. Ten plays, 70 yards, 250. Off the clock. All right, back out on defense. Hand it off to Wilkerson. He's going to pick up six yards. That's a good start to the drive for Troy State. I want to go 3 4. Yeah, let's go 3 4. Man lock. I like this play. Nice catch by Stevens. Laying out for it. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that button. I'm trying to get to 1,400 before the end of the year. Just need, I think, 24 more to reach the goal. 2024 is going to be a, a big year for us. I'm 
working on a uh, sponsorship right now, actually, for the channel, which will be huge. That'll be the first one ever uh, for myself. Draw play. And Wilkerson spinning forward, getting a few more yards. They're down to five coming up. Crowd going crazy, trying to get behind their defense. Quarterback draw. Oh, I bounced off the lineman. Dang it. Dang it all the heck, man. I got free will on this play. Do whatever I want. I'm blitzing. And I blitzed the wrong side, of course. And that's going to end the first quarter. Bulldogs on top, 7 to nothing. Low scoring affair so far here in Starkville, Mississippi. Renewing our rivalry with the Troy State Trojans. Draw play. And a huge stop for a loss. And that's Corbin May, the sophomore, his third tackle tonight. Third on seven. Get that. He almost deflected it right back to him. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, the defense gets the stop. Pennington on for the punt. First one was just 37 yards. Come on, Calhoun. You return this, brother. Oh, nice tackle. Alright, here we go. Oh, this could be a good run. Here we go. Down the sideline. Dalton. Caught by a linebacker. Defense is making him look like Reggie Bush out there right now. Tight end got absolutely crushed. Linebacker just planted him. Come on, Anderson. Hit somebody. Don't let them hit you. You hit them. Oh, nice tackle. Dolan already at 77 yards. Sides on the left end, number 91. I'll make it first and five. Remember when we first played these guys back in season one? They had uh, Osu Minora and Justin Tuck. I mean, this defense was just so filthy. We had a couple, I think we played them two years in a row, maybe three. Can't remember all the way back that far. We started this series uh, just about seven years ago. And Ballard up the middle, moving the chains. We're going to try play action, so I'm probably going to get sacked or hit and throw a pick. Thomas Roy to the end zone. And nice deflection by number 42, the corner. McLaughlin. That'll bring up second down of 10. And Ballard. 
Ballard getting three, maybe four. Still no Dalton on the field. I swear he gets a carry like three or four times in a row and then he's out for an hour. Up top to the tight end and Brooks is going to come down with it at the 12-yard line. First down, Bulldogs inside the red zone. Watson doing a great job, standing in the pocket, delivering a strike. Brooks over 100 yards on the season now, and five catches. And that's picked off. Oh my goodness. Well, that's not what we wanted. That's just that man's second pick of his career. That's unfortunate. Great drive ends in heartbreak. Second down and 10. Quarterback's going to take off, and he's going to pick up six. Pretty good run. Still 3-4. They're going to come out in the heavy set. No way he caught that. Oh, my goodness. I'm still upset about my pick I threw. That was really dangerous. I was the only one in the secondary. Don't like that. Oh my goodness. I like it. All right, back to offense. Nice broken tackle. Dalton picks up five as he spins forward. chains up to the 45. Heck, he might go for 200, just like Kirk Herbstreit said. Get an extra blocker over there for him. He is a little tired. we got to be careful he doesn't fumble here. And we get no blocking instead, so that's cool. See if the passing attack can get it together. Roy, wide open. That's a first down. We're going to go no huddle. Roy, 16 catches, 450 yards, four touchdowns this season. And Malone, and that's almost caught off the deflection. Almost intercepted as well.
give this to the fullback Harding. I, I hit the button to juke and he did not. They're down nine from the 33. Up top to Malone. He's got him beat. And he can't complete it. Just overthrown. And we had him too. Oh, we're not in field goal range. That's a 50 yarder. That's not happening. And I'm not punting it. If we had like 10 mile an hour winds with us, I would definitely kick it. Throw up top to Malone. And nice deflection again. Dang. Their secondary is playing pretty good. Still a low scoring contest. 7 to nothing as we close in on the half. And we get the sack on the quarterback. That was Contreras. Missed last uh, half of last game due to an injury. Trying to make up for that here. Loss of five on the play. Not sure why they went no huddle if they're just going to run the clock down. And that's picked off. Grimes, oh my goodness, collides with the receiver. Or else he would have had to pick six two straight games. But we will take it. Ball at the 30-yard line. 27 seconds to go. We got all three timeouts. And I got no block. That's cool. Just trying to set up the corner route. And that did not work. Also seven. Way out of field goal range now. Are you kidding me? Jeez. Two straight plays, we just forget how to block altogether. Alright, they're down to 22. This is <laughs> taking a turn for the worse. Come on, Dalton. He's got him beat. And he drops it. That should have been a touchdown. We're going for it. Why not? Hail Mary. Just chuck it up. Hope for the best. We got one-on-one -on -one coverage. Thomas Roy. And he drops it. Wow. We're just dropping everything right now. Should put Grimes out there. Mystique off the pick. What an ugly first half. Just seven and nothing. And it's picked off by Pruitt. One second left. I guess we'll go Hail Mary. It's not going to hurt any. Let's throw pick six, which... Well, that could happen. Come on, Hawkins. And he's going to drop it. Wow. Who wants to catch today? Anybody? We're making adjustments. We're getting Hawkins out of there because he is just, he's killing me. I'm really not enjoying what he's doing. We're going to put... Joiner over there. We're going to put Malone at the two. Roy's going to be the three. You know what? We're going to put all the freshmen out there. Maybe they want to play. I mean, nobody wants to catch the dang ball today. Seven and nothing as we go into the third quarter. Absolutely pitiful performance from the receiving core.
Calhoun gets nothing on the return. Awesome. Alright, back to the ground attack. That's working. Dalton closing in on 100 yards. He's got 94 today. chains on second down though so a fullback dive third and one it's a very short one yard to gain and Harden uh, Harden gets it easily goodness. Of course, they know we can't catch the ball, so they're just going to key on the run. But we will keep going. Get a couple more yards. So down an eight, coming up. deflected away. My goodness. I am just ashamed of this offense right now. That should be a touchdown. Who needs offense when you got Robbins scoring a touchdown? Not sure why he didn't call for a fair catch, but we'll take the touchdown for sure. Scored in a lot of different ways so far in this stream. A couple pick sixes, kick return touchdown. Now a scoop and score off of a, a punt return. I'll take it. Whatever scores, you know, however we can score, no matter what, I will accept it. I just know that this offense is going to come back to bite us in one of these games. Guys don't want to catch the ball. Either that or our, our secondary allowing 400 passing yards. Troy State just 22 yards passing on the day, though. But this is a running team. Going to take off. No, he's going to throw it. And it's picked off by Grimes. Oh, he spins to the outside. Grimes is going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Mississippi State. His second pick of the game and his second pick six in the past two games. I love the ball physics in 03 and 04 for these NCAA games. It's so, just so beautiful. It makes the tip drill just feels so good when you deflect it up in the air. What a beautiful play. Scoop and score and a pick six now. Southside Slugger in the chat. What's going on, brother? Insane play? Absolutely. Just beautiful, man. You do love to see it. Appreciate you stopping by the stream, man. Goodness, I just got flattened. Oof. 
Alright, defense, back to it. Let's get another one. Deflection by Woodard, sophomore. All right, let's blitz him. Get some pressure on this guy. Calhoun almost has the one-handed pick, and he gets hurdled at the end of that. They're down at 10 now. We'd love to get back on offense, see if we can't figure that out. And that is going to be overthrown. And quick three and out for Troy State as they are quickly crumbling here in Starkville, Mississippi. Robbins, who had the scoop and score, going to try to block this kick. Not even close. And Calhoun up inside the 45-yard line of Troy State. Pretty decent return. And we're going to go back to the ground attack with Jamar Dalton. And it's holding on Bryant. Okay. That's unfortunate. First down and 20 coming up for an offense that has been struggling, to say the least. Come on, Jamar. That's unfortunate. We're just going way backwards now. Dale might be open. Come on, Dale. You're wide open, brother. Thank you. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Too easy. Desmond Dale, true freshman, with a touchdown reception. Beautiful throw from Napoleon Watson. Finally got over 100 yards passing for the game. And 28 to nothing now. Just a three-play, 46-yard touchdown drive. another game where our, our special teams turns the tide for us. You know, they force the fumble on the punt return, scoop it and score it. Then we get a pick six. It's the same thing that happened uh, against Kentucky. We had kick return touchdown. So the special teams opening up that second half last game. Uh, and then we got a couple pick sixes in there and just cruised. And Kentucky was playing lights out. They were kind of going crazy. I mean, we still couldn't stop their passing attack, but we did get the win. Get him. And there's Woodard. Another tackle, and he is injured on the play. No, he's going to get right up. See that? He rubs some dirt on it. He's going to go to the sideline, take an aspirin, and he'll be all right. Third down and nine for the Trojans. And we're going to stop them short. They go to Wilkerson out of the backfield. 
And they only pick up four. Pennington, pretty good on the season. 19 inside the 20 and averaging 46 and a half yards per punt. Let's go Calhoun. 99 speed, freshman, Tony Calhoun. Juking people out, spinning, oh my goodness. All the way into Trojan territory. Century mark 110 yards on 15 carries. I can't remember the last time he didn't get 100 yards in a game. He's got 1,100 yards rushing on the season. And a really good tackle by the safety. Saves a possible touchdown. Just Fowler on the stop. I'm going to go fullback over with Harding. going to get two or three. Third down and eight coming up for Mississippi State. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. That's unacceptable. Strouser, the center, just kind of let go of him. At the 34, might as well go for it. I don't really feel like punting from here. You definitely can't get a field goal. Fourth and seven. Come on, Desmond. And he dropped it. Dang it. Somehow... Watson gets enough arm strength on that to get it out to him, even though he was crushed. And the young freshman just drops it. And nice deflection by Grimes. Looking for the hat trick, trying to get his third pick of the day. Wouldn't that be something? All right, tight end. One-on-one -on -one out here. Pruitt's not that fast. Makes the tackle, though. Best run of the day, I think, for Troy State. Draw. Nope. Play action. And they're going to overthrow the receiver on the left. Bringing up second down and ten. Great catch by Craig. Oh, my goodness. Wish my receivers could catch. Wouldn't that be something? Harris, just three touchdown passes in his career to go along with eight interceptions. That's going to end the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat. We're on top 28-0 over Troy State here in Starkville, Mississippi. Third down and three to start the fourth. They're going to go option. And that was a great stop. And they're going to go for it, of course. Down big. Fourth and five. Singleton, another deflection on the season. He is insane. Let's 
Oh no, the fumble, and of course we don't recover it. Because why would we? Oh, that drives me insane. Come on, Grimes. Nice catch by Stevens. Just couldn't get ahead of him. Nearly a touchdown. This will probably be an easy touchdown run for him. The tight end around is like the most broken play of all time in these college games. Trojans finally get on the board. About to make it 28 to 7 here in the fourth. Desmond Dale to return this one. He had a touchdown last game against Kentucky. And can't break it to the outside this time. Alright, Dalton, you want to hang on to the football this time, brother? It's his first fumble in a while. We lost the shutout. We were killing these guys. All right, third down and five. That was a dangerous, <laughs> dangerous option play. To Roy. He's wide open. He finally catches the ball at the 40. Picking up five. I mean, that was a late hit on the quarterback if I've ever seen one. How is that not pass interference? Safety comes up and just pushes him. First down, Mississippi State. First catch of the game. And Joyner, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, Joyner. Good grief. Lowers his head and just puts it right through his chest. Wide open. Joiner. Wow. I didn't even throw it to him. I honestly hit circle on that play. And he, he just wanted it more, I guess. <laughs> One-handed catch, no less. My goodness. Extra point from Rick Hayes is up, and it's good. 35 to 7. Eight play, 82 yard drive, 147 off the clock for the Bulldogs. All 
by our defense. Let's uh, not allow a touchdown this time now, shall we? And I just bounced him to the outside. That is so unfortunate. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> That's tough. Direct snap. Face mask on Woodard. Oh my goodness. Double coverage comes down with it anyways. Trojans trying to get over 100 yards passing today. They got 120 on the ground. Some nice runs by the quarterback. And Wilkerson not doing too bad either. 68 yards on 10 carries. Tackle by, I think that was Atkins. And they overthrow the tight end. That was pretty close, though. Fourth down and six. They're going to go for it, of course. They are 0 for 1 on 4th today. We are just 1 of 4. And that's overthrown. Good stop for the defense. And we can just run this clock out now. They've been doing a pretty good job containing Dalton for the most part. That's a really necessary graphic to show. One play, three yards. <laughs> Jeez. And Dalton escapes up to the 35-yard line. 134 yards for him. Let's go, Dalton. Use that speed, brother. Same bounds. There we go. Run this down under a minute with this play. make anybody miss on that play. Dom a little bit tired. He'll be off the field after that one. And there goes Ballard. Doesn't get much. Grimes, player of the game for the Dogs. Two picks with a touchdown and three tackles. I 
just feel like throwing it one more time. Why not? Why the heck not? Probably get sacked anyway. And Joyner comes down with it. All right. Cool. Ruins our red zone percentage, but I don't care. That's the end of the game. 35-7. Mississippi State improves to 8-0 on the season. Troy State falls to, what was it, 1-8. They are having a rough go of it. Take a look at the stats. We had 170 yards on the ground. We held them to less than 100 passing. We sacked them once. They sacked us twice. Uh, they had five turnovers. We had two. We picked them off three times. Recovered two fumbles of theirs. And there's a box score. We just were just on cruise control for the most of the game, you know. Not a whole lot going on. Watson, rough day at the office. A lot of drops, though. A lot of drops. 150 yards for Dalton on the ground. Four broken tackles. And one fumble. Receiving. How many drops did we have? They only counted one. Okay. We all know the truth about that. <laughs> if you watch that full game, there was at least like six drops. Contreras for the sack. Grimes two picks. One pick six. Pruitt had an interception. Uh, six deflections for the defense. Two four fumbles. Tiki Caldwell, baby. Couple recovered. Wait, does that not count? That didn't count as a... Oh, it did. Okay. I was going to say, Robbins better got his touchdown. I would have been furious. All right, we'll simulate the rest of this week after we save it. And I will let you guys take a gander at our season stats for our team, our players and whatnot. And I'll get on out of here. Next time you guys will see me will be Christmas Day. I'll be doing a Christmas stream. Because I have no plans. So that's what we're doing. I know most of y'all will be with your families, hanging out. Enjoying the holidays, but I'll be home alone, so uh, I'll just be trying to uh, keep myself sane during the day. And if nobody shows up to the stream, I'll just be talking to myself in an empty room while my dog stares at me. Like she is right now. Defense allowed a lot of yards in the two games today. Uh, but I am impressed with the amount of takeaways, the amount of touchdowns that we got on defense and uh, special teams as well. So our offense, our offense was just not getting it done. Uh, really in the passing game, really struggling. Couldn't figure it out. Don't know if we're going to. We know Dalton can run the ball. Our offensive line has been fantastic blocking uh, for the run game. But lots of drops from the receivers this season so far. Just not looking so hot. Our next two opponents will be traveling to Tuscaloosa to take on the 3-6 and six Alabama Crimson Tide. They have been atrocious in the seven seasons of this series. I don't know if they've made a single bowl game. And then we'll also be hosting number 11, Tennessee. The Volunteers coming to Starkville. And I'll probably just finish out the whole season. Uh, it'll be like six games. Unless we lose a bunch of these conference games and, and don't make the SEC championship game. But I plan on having a long stream Christmas Day. So if you guys are up for that, uh, hopefully I'll see you all there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get off the mic here in a second and show you guys all the stats for our players. 
Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the stream. If you did, please slap the like button, subscribe if you're new, and uh, join the Discord community. There's a link in the description below for that. And we're really trying to get to 1,400 subscribers by the end of the year. We need 24 more. So that's that's the goal. And uh, then next year, I'm hoping to get to, to 1,500 at least. I mean, I'm sure we could do that. But that's it for me on the mic. I'm going to cut the mic off and, you know, we're just going to check out the stats. Till next time, guys. Take it easy.